So what I'm gonna do is, I will build a drone protector. Everyone likes to fly the drone, so do I, until this happened. What you just saw in the clip was the drone rotating on the jaw axis without me using the controller. But why would the drone do that? I checked the IMU, I checked the compass, and then I checked the controller. And there it was, the stick of the controller was tilted like four or five degrees in one direction and so the drone thought all the time I was I was using it without using it. I had to recalibrate the, the controller then it worked well again. But why did it happen? Okay, everyone who has the Mavic Pro with the fly more combo in the back or the Spark with the controller has this problem. If you stuff in the drone in the back and the controller the sticks of the controller are all the time tilted and after a while the sticks get uncalibrated by that and so the drone is starting to jaw or even fly away without you wanting it. So what I'm gonna do is I will build a drone protector so I still can fit the controller in the back. Let's get the stuff I need. I need. Let's build a protector. I got two options. The first one is a super cheap sponge which fits perfectly on here and it's like a dollar. And the second option is this fancy foam which is actually for pillows. But maybe it's the best option with that height. So I will build both and then I will see which is better. This is number one and it fits perfectly on here and protects both sticks and fits perfectly in the back too. Now option number two, the fancy foam. But first I need to clean up this entire mess. This is the second one and it fits perfectly on the controller to protect the joysticks and as well it fits in the bag. Just came back from flying the drone and testing both protectors and it started raining. Now let me review both protectors, the first one and the second one. I tested both protectors outside when I was flying the drone earlier. But first let's talk about softness. You don't want the protector to be too soft because the joysticks should not tilt anymore. 
The first protector is much firmer, which is good and bad at the same time, because I had to make much bigger holes to fit the joystick still in there. The second one is a little softer, but it matches the shape of the controller much better than the first one. The next point to discuss is protection. The protector made of the sponge seems not to be as effective protecting the controller because it's too firm and its pores are too huge to protect well. While the second shapes very easily and matches the controller very well, so it's protecting it even better. The easiness of making the protectors varies a lot between both materials. It was really difficult to cut the sponge with the scissors and to make the holes, sometimes had to rip off parts with my fingers because it wouldn't work otherwise. The second one was easy to cut and shape, while the shape of this one is still... Last but not least, let's talk about the price. Of course the winner here is a sponge, it's just a dollar. But the fancy pillow foam was not much more expensive, I paid like $2.49 for this entire big piece. Yeah, and I still have like that much left, I could build like 10 protectors from that. So after testing both, I will go with this one to protect the controller of my DJI Mavic Pro. Now I have one last tip. If you put first the controller with the protector on it in the back, and then the drone, the likelihood of the joysticks to be tilted is a lot less. Okay, that's, that's my review. Now let's fly the drone again. Thank you.